Hi there, Joshua here with my brother and co-host Eli from This Is Something. Sometimes we get too hung up on the things we love the most. You mean like Star Wars? Yeah. Well, to combat this epidemic, we bring you This Is Pop Culture. Welcome to International Star Wars Day. Happy May 4th! Happy May 4th. This is our second year doing this, although there was a six-month time off between the two. But uh, this is our second year doing a Star Wars celebration to ourselves. Um, so let's just go ahead and kick it off. Have you seen the new Star Wars trailer for The Last Jedi? Of course. Okay, so, you know, it is a question before we actually talk about the trailer, the name, is Jedi plural or singular in the name, do it's you think? It's the last Jedi, well, yeah, you'll talk about Jedis, you'll say the Jedi. The Jedi, so is it plural or singular? Well, obviously, I think it's singular and they're referring to either, the question will become, is Luke the last Jedi or is Rey? Or is it that the la it's the last of the Jedi? So like that, I don't know. That's a question. Obviously, if you th if you have an opinion about that, go ahead and comment below. Um, in my well, I don't have an opinion about it. That's why I asked you. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea. Um, I think that I my thought is is that they're trying to. Here's the thing: is they're only trying to figure us out. They did that all through, you know, like with you know, uh, episode seven. Uh, Force Awakens. Finn having uh, a lightsaber. The lightsaber and all the promotional stuff. He's like, oh, okay, he's the Jedi, and then of course, no, he isn't. Um, and so this could be a fake out, but obviously there was that last line that was dropped in that trailer. Luke says... Oh, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, go watch it first. Uh, Luke, in that trailer, says, you know, it's time for the Jedi to end. Are you sure that's Luke? Yes, I do, because I watched it I watched it again, and you can see his mouth moving. It's him. You oh, thought it actually, might be... When we discussed it earlier... Well, no, you can hear him talking earlier. You know it's him because he's talking to Ray. But then I didn't know if the voices changed because it is a little gravelly and there's music playing. No, if you watch, you watch, you can see him. He's shadowed, but you can see his mouth moving. It's Luke saying it. He's okay. It's time for the Jedi to end. I kind of think that that's reference to he's looking to he's seeking to bring balance to the Force, mm -hmm. and the only way to do that is to get rid of the Jedi. He wants, I think, to to mesh the Jedi and the Sith. These movies have always been about balancing the force, mm -hmm. right? Or well, claimedly, you know, in the, really in reality, well, it's yeah, them trying to take down one side of the force. Yeah, one side is trying to overpower the other, and so you know, we try to rebalance the force, you know, in the Clone Wars, and the Jedi thought that meant getting rid of the Sith. You know, obviously in the Galactic Civil War in the classic movies, it's the you know the Jedi coming back mm -hmm. because the Jedi had been suppressed, and so I think to bring balance to the force, neither side is inherently bad. Or inherently good, I think to bring balance to force, he's wanting to see them come together. Mm -hmm. um, well, like you know, it is something I think we discussed last, last today, last year, was the idea that are the Sith actually really bad? Yeah, they they do have certain methods that we frown upon, but the Galactic Empire generally worked. You know, there there was, there was peace. If the Rebel Alliance wasn't there, there would be peace. So, you know, it, it's all about... Well, Lucas had always focused on, like, you know, kind of Eastern philosophy uh, uh, ideals for his... Uh, for building the Jedi and all... And, you mm -hmm. know, and that you know, you look at things like, you know, the ideas of light and dark. Neither are bad, neither are good. They just need each other. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the ideas of yin and yang. And um, so, yeah, I mean, the, the Sith are inherently bad... They've just always been shown bad, yeah. you know. And here's the thing: as much as the Jedi are supposed to be good guys, you can't ignore the fact that there are things the Jedi did that were shady as hell. Obi Wan tells Luke that his father's dead, mm -hmm. and in the second movie, he's like, "Well, I wasn't lying from a certain point of view." No, that is a lie. Mm -hmm. You dress well, if you put a ribbon on a dog turd; it's still a dog turd. <laughs> You know, you you know, a lie is a lie. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there is a certain, you know, you talk about the, the the Jedi kind of being snobbish, and it, it's why they ultimately fell is because they, they weren't 
opening their eyes to what the truth was about anything. You know, they're just like, oh, we'll take, you know, it's, it's all about us. It's all about what we're going to do, you know. And they they were very closed off group, very secretive group. So it's, it's ultimately why the well, and that's kind of why the Jedi fell apart. You know, people trash the prequels, but it's one of the I think one of the better things about the prequels is it does show that level of righteous arrogance mm-hmm. that we are right and they are wrong. So you know, it, and, and it leads to their eventual downfall. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if they had not treated Anakin the way they had treated, or if they had not done, you know, some of the things they had done, they wouldn't, you know, they would have, they would have still been a force to be reckoned with. But their their uh, righteous arrogance is what led them to their downfall. Yeah. Um, See, by the way, just real quick, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but last year we had snackage, mm-hmm. and we didn't do that this year because that was that was kind of crazy. But I did get some freshly milked. Blue milk. Milk from what? Blue milk comes from Banthas. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I actually, actually didn't know that until I, I had to go milk a Bantha to get it. So. That's Bantha fodder. That's, <laughs> you, should, uh, you should try your well, you milk. Maybe you should try it too. Huh? I will. That's not bad. A little day drinking going on. All right. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a blue milk recipe. If you want it, our cocktail. Uh, we are yeah, gonna, we are actually doing a little bit of day drinking. No um, judgment. So, guys, at the end of this video, we'll post uh, the recipe, and you can make your own blue milk. And uh, you it's actually eat. not bad. You might want to put this at a, at a Star Wars party. Yeah, yeah, that's actually. Although by, by the time you see this. You'll have to wait till next year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yep, yeah, there you go. That's um, that's uh, a blue milk, and you don't even have to go milk a bantha to do it. I actually didn't know that until I looked at the recipe. It was like, oh, and then, then whoever whoever put the recipe together, mm-hmm. uh, whoever put the cocktail together, had like a history of like uh, not history, but had like a like a little, <laughs> I, had, no, no, I had like a little thing about blue milk and like blue milk is milk from banthas, and I was like, is that true? And I. I, uh, you went to I, I, yeah, I went to Wikipedia. Yeah, I went to Wikipedia real quick to see if that was true. Because like, I don't know if that that sounds weird. Um, and yeah, sure enough, it, blue milk comes from banthas. You milk a bantha, and then you get blue milk. Blue milk. So, although it's not alcoholic. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> not alcoholic. This one is for adults only. Although you, I'll be honest, you can take the alcohol out of this, make this for kids. So uh, we we'll put the recipe. Milk and, you know, put blue food coloring in it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll put the recipe at the end of this uh, video. So there you go. You were saying that. that. I can't remember honestly. It was something I saw the other day that was that was um, supposedly, and I don't know about the actual factuality behind this happening. Um, and if I can find the picture that I saw, I'll post it here. If not, I'm sorry. Um, it was a screenshot from Star Wars Celebration. Um, uh, like I, There was like a video from Star Wars Celebration. Someone took a screenshot and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I don't know if it's true, it could be edited, but supposedly on the TV, they had Rey labeled as Rey Kenobi. And then, because the, uh, Daisy Ridley was talking, and then when John Boyega stepped up and was talking, they had him labeled as Thin Windu. I'm really I hoping hope. that's sort of a joke, especially because Finn was not panned by the end of the movie as an actual Jedi. Mm-hmm. I'm really hoping, especially because I really, really hope. Now, I really liked Mace Windu. He's one of my favorite characters from the Star Wars series. But Mace Windu was so into the Jedi Order, I really, really highly doubt that he would stray well, away from their, their teachings before there, he died. You know, there's, uh, there's theories being kicked around that Mace Windu's still alive, and even Samuel Jackson, you know, yeah, even are. Samuel Jackson himself has said that it's quite possible to say that Mace Windu's alive. Hinting that he really... I, I, I kind of hope they don't... That would take a... Re- that's a re- he'd be really old. I mean, he is a human in this story. He does mm-hmm. age naturally, just like Luke. So... Um, it's just kind of that's just kind of a weird turn to take, I guess. It's not that I hate it or I don't like it. It's just it just seems kind of like a weird out of context, uh, out of context turn to take. I, I don't know how, how I'd feel about that, especially if Finn is Finn's story wouldn't does, doesn't seem to match up with me. If if he is 
you know, someone was taken at both, would Mace Windu really let someone take his child at both to turn them into a stormtrooper? Mm. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, on the other hand, I could see Finn being somehow related to Obi-Wan or Luke. Um... Because Obi-Wan did stray away from being a Jedi while he was on Tatooine. You know, he, he didn't... He no longer was acting as a Jedi. He wasn't going out. Obviously, he was kind of in hiding. But as well as... Uh, on top of that, he is, you know, living his own life. Right. Um, I don't know if that was ever in the books that he might have strayed away. I know Luke had, in, cert in certain uh, texts, um, Luke had strayed away and done other things. But he was... A, he was a Jedi, but the Jedi were gone by the time... If you really think about it, ultimately, the Jedi are gone by the time Luke becomes a Jedi. Well, that's why he's the return of... Yeah, the return of the Jedi, I know. And then... But, like, he doesn't... He he would have never gotten to learn every teaching, including how he's not... You know, he's supposed to not fall in love. Love is not... Think of the titles. Return of the Jedi is the last of the classic movies. Mm-hmm. Right? And so when Lucas re did the prequels, the last of the prequels is called Revenge of the Sith. It's kind of a play on mm -hmm. Return of the Jedi, right? It's kind of that, that play on, this is the Revenge of the Sith, so it's the Rise of the Sith. Yeah. Then it's Return of the Jedi. And so you would kind of expect this thing for these you know, these series to come full circle. The, last, the title of the last... Movie would be something would, about them. Well, I would say, I would assume Last Jedi, the new movie that's coming out, that title would be then to make everything come full circle. Oh. Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi, Last Jedi. But they don't. They, they're <laughs> making that one, the Last Jedi, the middle movie. What are the middle? Well, Attack of the Clones, um, Empire Strikes. Empire Back. Empire Strikes Back. See, I guess that doesn't work because Attack of the Clones and Empire Strikes Back could be related to each other. You mm -hmm. could say, but like. The Phantom Menace and, and then New Hope. Hope. Again, you, you could vaguely say there's a connection, but probably not so much. Not so much. Yeah, not not so much. So it's just weird that you know you would. Can, I, I would think the Last Jedi would be a title that you would see for to to round out to bring that all full circles. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. One thing that I'm I'm deeply saddened by is that they still haven't caught on about the release dates. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for the first six Star Wars movies, they were all released in May. Mm -hmm. And I don't, even, I don't even know if that had anything to do with the fact that May the 4th would no, be... No, I just think that's be. when they started doing them. But now that move, you know, now that all the... Not all, but a large portion of the really big movies of, of each year come out around Christmas. Or in the middle of summer, as a, as a summer well, blockbuster. Well, yeah, they're trying to make a summer blockbuster and a winter blockbuster. So, to... but, the, but the point is that in Star Wars, it's all winter, they're all Christmas time movies. Mm -hmm. And I really wish, just as a traditional thing, they would have kept it, you know, all in May. But talking about that, realize that it is the month of May now. Mm -hmm. It is May the 4th. And something that some people don't know that I hope most people would realize eventually is that this coming May 25th, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, May 25th is the 40th anniversary of the first Star Wars I coming out have. for the first time, because it was re-released later. What is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars actually starting mm -hmm. as, a, as a movie franchise? Um, so are we doing anything for that? We are, but I'm not going to tell them what we oh, are doing. Oh, okay. okay. But um, do be on the lookout. This entire month is going to be for us a sort of Star Wars celebration, so there may be... Things in I, I the think, near I think future. It's probably, I think it'll probably be honed down to just this and the other thing. But yeah, you, so just um, be so on the lookout. What, 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 day, what day was that? It's May 25th. May, so, you know, if you're really into Star Wars, look out May 25th. We're going to be doing something. We can't tell you what. Something. Um, else. Else. <laughs> so, so, well, I think we're about out of time. Okay. So, until next time, I'm Eli. I'm Joshua. And, and this, this is Pop Culture. We hope you liked today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave a comment because we enjoy chatting with you. 
Also, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at This Is Something. All the links are below. Thanks, and have a beautiful day.